Previously on Skyrim and Skyrim Special Edition. Meridia's Beacon. Return my beacon to Mount Kilcrete. Statue of Meridia discovered. You will enter my temple, retrieve my artifact, and destroy the defiler. The defiler is defeated. Take Dawnbreaker from its pedestal. It weighs uh it weighs less than my uh my my orcish war axe. It does more damage and burns for 10 points and when killing the undead has a chance to cause a fire explosion. Hell yes. This has just become my new go-to weapon. Let's uh make our way back down the hill and make our way to solitude. Man, that was so worthwhile. <laughs> I'm really chuffed right now. Look at oh, look at this thing! Oh, I mean, it's it's. Be honest, it's not too great when I'm sneaking because it is literally a big ball of light coming through my sword. Like when we attack from the shadows, as uh, Janessa likes to say, this thing is gonna kind of give our position away. But man, like that cool does that sword look? Especially when uh, Gaston stops and he uh does that. Oh man, that thing looks amazing. <laughs> cool. Like, this is this is, does more damage than my war orcish war axe, and it uh, and it does like that a burn. But if I like, go against the undead, it does like that burning effect on it as well, and can cause a like, fire explosion. And this is perfect. Weighs less, does more damage. It's exactly what we like to see. Where's the time anyway? Oh, it's quarter to two in the morning. I would say Skyrim's quite beautiful at night sometimes. It looks like we've got a lot of cloud cover, just about making the moon out behind it. I was hoping for an Aurora Borealis, but Dragon's Bridge, that's where we come from, this white run and solitude. I think I've mentioned it before, but the uh, the town that's closest is always in white, and then the ones that are furthest away are like in a scratched out black colour. So obviously white run we know is far away. Solitude's not actually that far away, so I don't know why it's in that uh, blacked out colour, but... Yeah, we don't need to go back to Dragon's Bridge. There's no point going to Dra Dragon, um, Dragon's Bridge and sleeping the night away when we're quite close to solitude as it is. We might as well make our way down this road and... Uh, Investigate a new keep and see what there is. See what people there are to meet and uh, what there is to do. Look at that sword just glowing on Gaston's hip. He's got so many dark clothings on. Even his fur's quite dark in the black spots. And he's just got this basically like a massive, massive bright pocket watch on the side of him. I think that was a path. But there's like a big tree blocking it and grass has grown over. I love being outside in Skyrim. Probably one of the most said things in this uh in this playthrough alongside uh Boom Baby and calling Lydia um Janessa Lydia. See, I even did it then! I was even commenting on the fact that I keep calling Janessa Lydia and I called her Lydia again. I think we want to take this path on the right, I believe. Yep, it seems like the path on the left is probably gonna go up there. So we wanna take the path on the right and head down to Solitude. It's not actually that far away, to be honest. I imagine if there wasn't a path there and we were going through the wilderness, it'd probably take a, a bit longer. Probably due to all the enemies and stuff like that would come across along the way, but... It's not actually that far away. This looks like this could actually... I think this actually belongs to Solitude. Normally you come across, like, old ruined keeps and they've got bandits and necromancers, as we found out in Fort Snowhawk, but... This one looks like it's well up... like it's well kept, yeah? Yeah, it must belong to, uh... Belong to Solitude. Oh, we've got another one of these, uh, the one of the carts. One of the carts I'll probably be utilizing at some point. Need a ride? 
No, I want to know a little bit of information about Solitude before I enter. Like, are they friendly towards Khajiits, for starters? Solitude's been the capital of Skyrim as long as I can remember. Most of the high kings of Skyrim were Jarls of Solitude first. Well, let's see what else. Uh, the Bard's College is here, and the main office of the East Empire Company. If you need it, you can get a room for a fair price at the Rinking Skeever, just inside the main gate. Ah, the Bard's College. I've heard about this. I might actually might pay a visit to the Bard's College. It, I think they can increase your, your speech, so I think that's a good place to go. All right, then. But, first port of call, I believe, is going to be the Winking uh, Skeever. We've been uh, fighting the corrupted shades and uh, necromancers and flying through the sky with gods. I think it's uh, time to get a good night's rest. Because uh, at this point, like, a quarter to three in the morning, there's going to be no shops open. There's uh, nothing we're going to be able to see. So I think it's time that we find the Weakened Skeever, and we get a good night's rest, and then we start visiting all the shops of Solitude when, uh, when morning time comes. Gotta say, this place, even though I was pessimistic at first, because it's literally standing on the edge of a cliff, like it feels like it could crumble and fall at any minute. But this place is well guarded. They've got a tower out front, they've got another gate bridge there, with, uh, I'm assuming there's probably guards in there at some point. This is far more protected than Whiterun is. Like, I feel like if you're going to attack this place, you'd need to amass a massive army, but... Let's find out what Solitude has to offer. Far, you need to go home. Go home and stay there until Get your mother. Get on with it! Traitor. You betrayed us. You should tell her that her uncle is scum that betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. Get on with All it! Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after oh, he murdered no. High King Tori. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't Aiden. deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric challenged Tori. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. <laughs> On this day. I go to Sovngarde. Man, it seems like we came here at an uh, opportune time. You gotta think as well. <laughs> Half past three in the morning, that's an odd time to do an execution, but... It seems like the town folk are all behind this. It seems like very few, very, very few that didn't want this to happen. Yeah, a lot of people seem to agree with this. It only seems like that uh, that little girl didn't want this to happen. Bear in mind that she said that that was her uncle. I can't blame her. See, that guy seemed to... Uh, imagine not agree with him, but seems to think there was some honour in uh, what he did. Okay, maybe not all the town folk of Solitude agree with this then. Well, I'm guessing I'm going to go around one by one and chat to all these folk at some point or another. But as I said, uh, half three in the morning, that is not the time. Alright, well, I, th I think I'm uh, going to go uh, head into the weekend skiva and uh, investigate what all this was about in the morning. Actually, this guard's on the way down now. Let's chat to him now. I'm waiting. Spare some waiting. gold for a veteran? He, he, okay, apparently that guy's just waiting. A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. No, it doesn't indeed. I'm going to need to get some more information about this. 23, what? 23 heads you've cut off? Holy hell. Maybe this guy will give us a bit of information. You wouldn't be a sellsword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. A little problem, eh? A real problem? Well, I'll, I'll chat, chat about that in a second. But uh, <laughs> I want to know what, what happened here. Uh, yeah, you, you, you were the one who executed that man. Hi, I'm the headsman here in Solitude. It's my job. Do they keep you busy? Depends on what you mean by busy. 
I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job, usually. Well, you did just say 23, so it sounds like you've uh, done a few of them, but when's your next execution? When's the 24? Ain't got one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Keep your head about you. Huh, so, seems like there's a uh, Argonian here that you're not a fan of. It did seem like he was going to give me a quest, but I might go speak to him later, because I don't fancy uh, for a... Veteran? It's not much to ask. I don't fancy picking up any new quests right about now. We've got our own things to do. Lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. Yeah, that's the, that's the plan, Solitude Guard. That's the plan. So, what do we have here? This is... Oh, the Weakened Skeever. That was exactly what we, uh, what we wanted. Okay, there's a... Uh, Make our way inside and see if we can get a bed for the night. I mean, it's already 20 past 4, so we only need a couple of hours sleep. And then all the shops will be open, and we can uh, sell off our goods, buy some goods, and uh, see what Solitude has to offer. This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch protectors. Shush, Miko. We're about to hear a uh, song. Oh, well, I thought we were about to hear a song. We drink oh, there we go. To our youth, to the days come and gone, for the age if you need a good rumor or two, I think I can oblige. No, I'm, I'm good with rumors. I don't really fancy picking up any uh, quests or getting involved in anyone's Traitors, business right at the moment. Wars, dragons. <laughs> Those troubles don't cross my doorway. So sit, relax. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Why is this place called the Winking Skeever? Well, as it turns out, I had a pet skeever when I was a boy, and he used to wink. Is that a true story? That doesn't <laughs> seem like a true story, but you kept a skeever as a pet? They were smaller back then. Oh, fair enough. I was going to say, that seems like a good a reason as any, uh, but okay. I thought there was more story going to be there, but fair enough. Okay, I know where I can... Why does everyone have that question about magic? Like, <laughs> like I know where to learn magic now. Like, and I don't fancy any rumors, so uh, let's just get a room to rent for the night. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. We will I just drink and we'll sing. Oh, oh, nearly knocked his axe off. But, um, yeah, I was gonna see if he had anything to sell, but he only has, like, food and ingredients and stuff like that. I think it's only food. Oh, nice bongos. <laughs> I was talking about a drum. Don't get a dirty mind, ladies and gentlemen. I was talking about the drum. <laughs> Gaston putting his paw in his mouth again. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thank you very much. Very, thank you very much, Corpulus. Are they going to let him out the doorway? Nope, didn't think so. Miko's going to stand in his way. That's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Miko, get out of the man's way. He's got stuff to do. He's got. A, he's got an interrun. Miko, move. Rumor or two. I think I can oblige. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get the dog out your way, man. So you can <laughs> get out of my room. What the <laughs> I know that was kind of rude of me, Janessa. I'm not going to lie, but. No! Oh, oh Miko, look, come over here. Miko, that's it. Let the man leave. There we go. Good, good. That's all. Now Janessa's in my way. Oh, God. Everything you come across in Skyrim and companions blocking doorways are the worst part of it. Miko, come in. Get in. Miko, you never leave my side and now you won't come in the room. In. Move. There we go. That's all I want. All I want to do is shut the door. That was all I wanted to do. Man, it's... The smallest things in this game are like the hardest to do, but... Alright, fair enough. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to steal from a chest. I don't think that's <laughs> necessarily a wise thing to do. I've only just got to solitude, but... Let's change out of all this and uh, all of this armor. Let's put the clothes on. Uh, let's do... Uh, prices are 10% better because I'm about to go around uh, buying and selling some stuff. Good, good, good. Alright, good. Let's get my bow out just because it looks a bit better than... Uh... Actually, no, let's have the sword. I was going to say, if I'm going to be... Uh... Oh, I just realized I haven't actually hotkeyed that up to my favorites. There we go. Let's have a sword, right? That looks a little bit better since I'm walking around town, but... Okay, so shops open normally about 8, so that'll get it to 6.20, 7.20, 8.20. I need three hours sleep, but that's all we really need. I've got a lot of stuff I want to do, so we need to be up bright and early as soon as the, uh... Soon as the shops start selling, but... Even three hours sleep and we've already woken up well-rested. We're one of the same kind, you and I. If that is what you wish... 
Oh, can you hear that whimpering? I think uh, Miko's locked outside the door again. I think, I think he thinks we've done it on purpose, but... Oh, in fact, actually, since how I have um, Dawnbreaker now, I can give Janessa my fine uh, Orcish War Axe instead. And she can use that one. Yep, I will take that one uh, back off of you. And, uh, oh, actually, no, saying that, what am I talking about? Uh, you can have that one back, because what I'll do is I'll take your normal uh, Steel War Axe off of you. And then you can double up with the fine War Axe and the... Uh, there we go. Sorry, when I go back to it, she equipped the wrong one, so... Give... Oh, use the fine one. It's not it's, it's not that hard, Janessa. Come on now. Lead on. But yeah, she can use the uh, fine war axe and the normal war axe as a double weapons instead of... Oh, it's just another bedroom. Instead of using uh, the, uh, the standard war axe. But okey pokey, let's make our way around solitude and let's see what we have uh, what we have to do here. Let's give this one a, uh, a quick save before we uh, start talking to someone and put our foot in it by mistake. Who is this gentleman? By blade or by spell, if you want it dead, I'll make it dead. All you need to do is pay my fee. Nice, so you're another you're another gun for hire, I suppose. Another sword or another uh, magic for hire, just sort of like Janessa. Well. You seem like a decent person. I've always been interested in getting a companion that, uh, <laughs> yeah, me go, that uh, deals in magic. But to be honest, it looks like you're a heavy armor guy. I like Janessa too much. She's the, the fine armor, the light for leather armor, the stealth, the shadow. She's exactly what we need. I was going to talk to her, but I'm not. Magic having me gone. I didn't want to interrupt her. Feel free to make requests. I may do, I may do, but I'm about to go out in solitude. But I, I do want to know: Does the bard pay well? Because I'm interested in going to the bard's college. Oh no, but. Being surrounded by good music, good drink, and good friends is all I've ever asked for. Oh, fair enough. It seems like you're happy with your life here in solitude. Uh, no. Yeah, go on. What's the word around town? I really hope she doesn't give me a quest, though. Generally, if you want rumors, you should talk to Corpulus. That said, I did see a visitor pass through on his way to the Blue Palace. Hmm, what about the Blue Palace is? I'm guessing that's the, the, the that's like the Dragon's Reach or something like that of uh, Solitude. So, so you're a member of the Bard's College? Only in that I'm a graduate. I work here at the Winking Skeever. I would highly recommend it, though. Talk to Viarmo if you're interested. Okay, maybe I will. Maybe you I will. Think about staying the night. Corpulus keeps a clean it. I, <laughs> it seems like that loot just scared you. Then. Ah, my loot's back. But, all right, fair enough. There's an Argonian over here. I wonder if this is the Argonian that uh, the, the, uh, the headsman was talking about. I have no business with you. Leave me. Oh, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I don't think that was the uh, the Argonian that, uh, that the headsman was talking about. So maybe there's two Argonians here in uh, Solitude. Which is good to see because quite a lot of other places where, like, main towns like this haven't had Argonians in them. They've, they've been only, like, Nords and Brayton or Brayton, but... This is a beautiful place. This is a really nice, uh, a really nice hold, a really nice keep. Like the stone and the the brick is just beautiful to look at, and it's got all the moss on it as well. It's not much to ask. Uh, you must be the the the, home, the town's bum, the town's homeless guy. Spare some gold for a veteran. Here you go, buddy. Have a piece of gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. So, what's your story, old man? How did you end up here on the streets of Solitude? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Man, it seems like you're really attached to that helmet. When you said so many things, I, a part of me thinks that your mind might be one of them, but... Yeah, what if I could find that helmet? Like, I, I I plan on sticking around solitude for a while, so if it's nearby, I could track it down for you. Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. Find Nostas' helmet in Shadow Green Cavern. All right, so, were you really in the army then? What? You see a man falling on hard times, and you think he's been like that forever? I was there. I fought in the Great War. I was on the field at Anvil, and when I was struck down, they left me. You understand? They left me for dead. I didn't leave them. 
Hey, I didn't assume you were always homeless. Like, I was just making chit chat with you. Seems like everyone else here passes you by playing No Mind. I thought you'd like the conversation. I do miss that helmet. Okay, fair enough. Seems like you missed this helmet. Let's see if we can uh, track it down. Uh, find Noss's helmet inside a shadow green cavern. Let's find out where that is. That is literally right next to Solitude. We could do that for you. We could actually do that very soon. There's Shadow Green Cavern. I can track that down for you. Where is it? Is it on top of this mountain? I can't even I can't even get closer to find Actually, I don't think it is. I think it's behind the mountain, actually. That's annoying. I can't move the camera up any higher than this. That's a tad irritating. But from the looks of that and how much it's moving, I think it's on the other side of this mountain. How frustrating is that that you can't move this camera any higher? But it looks like there's even areas you can go to up there. So why can't you move the camera higher? But it looks like it's over the back side of this mountain. So, yeah, we might we might have to do that at some point, I feel. Not right at this moment, because I've got stuff to do here in uh, Solitude. But at some point, maybe. All right, what do we have here? This is... Bless you. May the ground you walk quake as you pass. You're welcome. You're welcome. But, hey, what shop's this? This is the Radiant Rain... Rain... Radiant Raymond. This might be... I think this might be a clothing place, actually. Unless their potions are radiant. Oh, Miko, you beat me in here. Do you know a back door, maybe? I do have the, uh, the, uh, the, what's it called? The prices. Yep, prices are 10% better. That's exactly what we want. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. I'm pretty certain that was sarcasm, but I'm going to take it as a compliment. Oh, let me just drop everything to help you. I don't mind. Really? Okay, there that was sarcasm. All right, so uh, <laughs> having a <laughs> yeah. Do you do you, do you get a lot of business like that? Radiant Raiment has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. Having a bad day, I take it. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Well, I am so sorry, Endari. How dare I make chit chat? How dare I think that I am a paying customer and that you might want to be nice to me? What have you got for sale? And I, I plan on ripping you off as much as possible. Breeches, gowns, clothes for any occasion, really. Okey pokey, okey pokey. So let's see what I can sell you. That's all I really care about. I'm not interested in buying things off you, to be honest. I don't want to sell the amulet of Arcade. I don't. You know I'm going to sell these. Um, I did say obviously you can use these for like uh, smithing and stuff like that. But right now I'm more interested in gold than I am in getting my smithing skill up. There's nothing I really need to craft myself at this moment, so. Sell that ring. Let's sell the gold sapphire ring. You don't have much money left at this point. Uh, oh, that one's that one's too much to sell us. So I'll just sell her the uh, the amethyst ring instead. Speech increased. Good, good, good. She needs a bit more gold before I can buy anything else off her. Oh, an alakir hood you can buy off. She actually has quite. A oh, look, she can actually buy two uh, sp <laughs> plus uh, fifteen speech craft amulets off of her. I don't think there's anything here I'm going to really need unless there's something that's like some enchanted armor. But I get the feeling she's selling more, it's like, beauty products as opposed to armors. These are just like general clothes. Yeah, there's nothing I feel I'm really going to need here. She's definitely marked up the price of all the thing I sold her. Man, that didn't take her long. Yeah, these are just fancy clothes. There's a... Oh, actually. Health increased by 20. Stamina retreats. Increased heavy armor skill. Oh, some of those were good. Yeah, she's not having the armor on her though. Oh, what do we have here? Two-handed attacks, increase heavy. Now, these are all like heavy armor. Yeah, these are all like heavy armor stuff. That's nothing I need. All right, fair enough. Finally. Oh, you can just go do one, seriously. <laughs> what a rude, rude lady. Tell me about it, Agent Essay. You know what I'm talking about. All right, well, I'm glad. I'm glad that she only sells like fine clothes and stuff like that because I really don't want to have to deal with her ever again, so... <laughs> There's some gold for a veteran. I already have, buddy. Like, I'm, I know I only gave you like one or two gold, but I'm not going to give you everything I have. It doesn't matter how many times you ask. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. Hmm. Who is this? Is this the Argonian he was talking about? Jarral. Yeah, that, that, that does seem like the Argonian he was mentioning. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. You look new. I'm new too. I think we could be friends. I am not interested, thank you very much. <laughs> this Argonium uh, can give you a quest, but he gives you a quest that I really have no interest in doing. And one of the few things that are... 
No, I'm all right. It's the tech of the kids. Leave me be. I'm trying to talk to my subscribers. But yeah, it's one of those quests that even if you say no, it still pops up in your quest marker. Leave me be, Jari. Yeah, but it's one of those quest markers that you can't get rid of, and it's always there. And it's not even in, like your miscellaneous quests. It's here in your main quests. And I have no, I have no intention of ever doing it. So I'm not even going to talk to him, to be honest, because I don't want that quest marker sitting there the whole time. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. <laughs> What's wrong with my outfit? Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should come by our shop. Radiant Raymond. We could fix you right up. I already have, and I was met with very rude service, and to be honest, I get the feeling you're no better, but yeah, do you always insult people when they meet you when you meet them? Your uh, colleague wasn't much nicer. It's not an insult, just an observation. If I were walking around with a wound, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Your outfit is something of an open wound, where a tire is concerned. Yeah, well, by the look at you, you're walking around chopping up wood just like the rest of us, so you're no better than anyone else, but... So, what should I wear if I was going to the, uh, the Blue Palace? Go on, entertain me. You're really going to the Blue Palace? That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. Well, that, yeah, exactly. That sounds easy enough. A little bit of gold, a new outfit, which I'll probably just sell back to you. So, yeah, sounds in, easy enough. I'll do it. Good. Here's the outfit. Try to get Elisif's opinion on it, and if she likes it, mention it's from Radiant Raymond. Will do. Will do. If it was anything more stressful or tiresome than that, I wouldn't have done it. But as I'm going there anyway, I might as well get a bit of spare gold on the side. Remember Radiant Raymond when you need a change of attire. Will do. Will do. Right. What did she give me then? Radiant Raymond, fine clothes. Ooh, fine clothes. Is that better not be Khajiit hide that's around the neck? Huh? I'm coming back with a uh, Dawnbreaker, and I, uh, I think it's gonna have something to say about it. Ah, right, fair enough. Gonna have to uh, wear that when I go to the uh, Blue Palace. Fair enough. Well, if I'm gonna meet the Yarl of Solitude, this is quite a nice place. I might as well be looking my finest. Might be looking. Might as well be looking dapper when I turn up. Oh, what's this place? Oh, this might be a uh, bits and pieces. This is probably like the general goods store. I thought I heard someone talking. Yeah, this is probably the general goods store. This is probably where I'm going to sell off any of the junk that I um, can't sell off to other vendors. It might be a good idea to come here last, actually, because I can sell off the, to the general goods store all the stuff I can't sell off elsewhere. Ding, ding, ding. Service, please. <laughs> all right, I'll come to you, then. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. Yeah, it was definitely a uh, welcome to solitude. A welcome that I'm not getting from any of these store owners. Huh. You know, you've got a certain fire in your eyes. Just like my beer and... Please, feel free to look around. We've got a bit of everything. Good, good, good. That's what I like to hear. But, uh, yeah, who's, who's beer and? Baron's my husband. He works the forge up at Castle Dower. I barely see him nowadays, what with him filling orders for the army. Oh, fair enough. Uh, yeah, so you were, were you at Rogvir's execution? I mean, it seems like everyone in town was. No, that was an ugly affair. High King Torig's death has turned the whole town on its head. Between you and me, he wasn't even that good king. All of those rambling speeches about the Empire this and the Empire that. Oh, fair enough. It seems like you're one of the few that, um... See, you didn't outright say what happened to him was bad, but it seems like you're not too upset the uh, <laughs> what happened to him. Some may call this junk. Me? I call them treasures. Oh, it's weird to hear someone other than Bellafor say that. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's have a look through. Whoa, what are we going to sell off? Dwarven Arrow. Now I'm going to keep a hold of that. I might sell off, not to this person because I've got a whole bunch of other stuff off, but at some point I might sell off my Iron Arrows. I actually know they don't even sell for anything. I might just drop them. Because there's so many ancient Nord arrows, I don't see myself ever needing them. But all right, stuff of fireballs, Ooh, stuff of fury. I might sell off the things that uh, cost less first, because then I can get rid of them and uh, like free up a lot of weights. So let's get rid of the oh no, the staff of flames. I don't want to sell that. That's my staff that um, I had in on my original version of Skyrim, which I need to put in my home at White Run. So I'm not selling that off. That's like a, a piece of memorabilia, so to speak. Actually, do you know what? I am going to sell it. There's no point keeping this. Let's just 
what's the point? Like, <laughs> yeah, I used it during my walkthrough, but not 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 for very long. So, sell off that. Oh, I might as well sell this off now. Why not? Let's see what else I can give you. Uh, yep, let's get rid of the elbow and helmet. Don't have enough to sell that. That's what I wear. Don't have enough to sell that, and I don't have enough to sell that. I think I might be uh, running out of things that I can sell her. Seems like she doesn't have enough enough coin for me to sell anything else to her. Oh, look at that! She's just like six or seven gold, um, seven gold short of me being able to sell that to her. Oh, there's, a few, there's actually a couple of books I was gonna. Oh, I've still got Alvish Journal. There's still a couple of books I uh, might sell her. That one, I'm not actually going to use, so I'm going to sell that to her. Uh... Oh, actually, that's perfect. Yeah, um, 40... There's a dyslex uh, dyslexia coming into play. I thought that was 74, but... Sell her one of the Amethysts. I need the Bear Pelts. Where else have we got? Yeah, I'm going to sell... Uh, oh, no, I'm going to use that to actually uh, upgrade one of uh, Janessa's axes. So, no, I won't sell that off. Got some deer pelts. I'm going to use that for um, 39. I'm going to use that for when I'm doing some more uh, smithing. Might be able to sell off some of this leather. I don't see myself needing all of this, to be honest. No, I don't think there's anything else I can be able to sell. All right, what have you got to sell me? Oh, I might buy a bunch of dwarven ar uh, arrows, actually, instead of using the ancient Nordic ones. It'll give her a bit more gold that I can buy back as well. Some orcish arrows. I wish, I wish orcish arrows did more, because I like the look of orcish arrows so much more than the, uh, the dwarven ones. Man, she has marked that up. 3,000. Holy hell. Yeah, I'm going to buy myself some uh, Dwarven Arrows. I'm going to buy all 30 of them. Oh, wow. 300 gold? Ooh, is that worth it? It's, it's, I don't know. I'm, I might wait. I'm not sure if that's worth it. 300 gold. Yeah, I've got stuff to sell her so I can just get that gold back. But, I mean, is it really worth it? I can find Dwarven Arrows out in the, out in the wild. Uh, I was hoping there'd be some enchantments on some of that stuff. Uh, nah, I don't need any of this. Don't need food. Let's see if we've got any ingredients for some. Nah. Nah, there's nothing really here. It I seem to. Uh, I really seem to need, to be honest. I might. Maybe I might buy those arrows. Actually, 300 gold does seem like a lot, though. Yeah, I'm gonna buy them. That is a lot. But then I've got stuff that I can sell her back. So. Star for Fury. There we go. I've got all my gold back, just like that. <laughs> that worked out. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I will, Samer. Thank you very much for the uh, for your business. <laughs> woof woof indeed, Miko. Right, what's this other shop over here? This looks like an alchemy shop. So let's pop in there. See what other uh, Angela's aromatics. Let's see what uh, potions and stuff like that they might be able to sell me. I've got a few invisibility potions that I don't really use too much, so I might sell some of them to the... Oh, there you are. If you're looking for potions, you should talk to my aunt, Angeline Marard. Is she around here? You were there for Rogvir's execution. Yeah, nasty bit of business, Rogvir's execution. It was a real welcome to solitude. Perhaps, but necessary. My cousin Fura is somewhere out there in Skyrim right now. Fighting Ulfric Stormcloak and his damned insurrectionists. She wouldn't have to be there at all if it weren't for Rogvir. And my aunt wouldn't have to worry about her daughter. Uh, why were they executing him? Like, what, what's he got to do with the, the, the war? You really don't know? He lets Ulfric Stormcloak escape solitude. Ulfric rides in, murders the High King, and Rogvir lets him ride right back out. Oh, really? Okay, well, so how do you take your mind off something like that? Must be uh, quite, a, um, quite a coup here in uh, Solitude. Oh, that must be your aunt. Most people head over to the Winking Skeever. If you're not interested in music or drink, you can at least talk to Corpulus. He can fill you in on any of the latest gossip. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much. People to see and places to go, huh? Later, then. Indeed, I do. I need to speak to your aunt, because I want to see what potion ah, she may have. Welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? You can indeed. I don't know why your voice just made me laugh. You're a traveller, correct? Have you been to Whiterun? I have, actually. It was the first keep I ever went to. I have a home in Whiterun. Uh, yeah, I have. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. My daughter, Fura, was assigned to Whiterun after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. 
I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Uh, the name doesn't actually ring a bell, if I'm being honest with her, but I'll, I'll try and get some information for you. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. So, uh, talk to Captain Aldous about uh, Angela's daughter. That's alright, because I was planning on speaking to whoever the head guard was around here about the execution, so fair enough. Uh, aromatics, you sell perfumes, I take it. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. Well, especially during the war, I'm not surprised, but I don't really need any training in alchemy. So yeah, what do you have for sale? Take a look. I will do just that. But first, I'll see what I can sell you. Illusion spells. Are, I don't actually need these because I can always cast my muffle. And it's the only illusion spell I do. So let's sell two of them. I'm going to sell four of my invisibility potions because I don't actually use these, to be honest. Oh, she doesn't have enough gold. Man, my invisibility potions sell for quite a lot. Let's make sure there's nothing else I want to sell first. So, uh, How much gold does she have? She has 427. So let's sell her three then. I've only got 55 gold left. Alright, let's see what I can buy off of her. Does she have any potion recipes? No, nothing I really need. Potions do you have? Actually, what potions do I need first? Uh, I've got a couple of healings. I've got one of stamina. Hmm, there's nothing I really need, to be honest. Like, I got my visibility potions, but I never use them. Oh, I'll buy a potion of cure disease, actually. I might need that, just in case I, uh... Something I decide <laughs> decides to really knock me back. Give Gaston the old gut rot. Yeah, there's nothing else I really need here. Don't forget me next time you need herbs. It's good to take Yeah, on. I won't actually, because I just remembered. Why, by, by buying that, I could give you more potions. I can give you some more of my invisibility potions. Mm. Yeah, why not? I can always make more invisibility potions. Take care now. Will do, and I'll see if I can find any information about your daughter from Captain Aldous. <laughs> Stop barking, Miko! Oh, is this boring for you? Are you getting bored? <laughs> Sorry, this, we're going around and we're shopping. This is basically Khajiit Eye for the straight guy right now. So just <laughs> bear with me, Miko. It needs to be done. But yeah, I'll talk to Captain Aldous about your daughter as well. Oh my lord, you have got to stop, Miko. See, look, you... I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. So that Miko, you even drew an, uh, what's her name? Vivian out of her own shop. You. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. I bow no. hands only. Interesting traveler. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Huh, fair enough. I was just about to say, look, you've even drawn the Vivian or Vivine out of her own shop and she's making excuses not to talk to her. You are driving the women away, Miko. You've got great puppy dog eyes, but you've got to stop barking. But, I don't know, looks like Courier has a note for us. Let's see what he has. Um, letter from Calcimo. Let's give this a read. Gaston, it has come to my attention you may have recently acquired a certain dwarven arrow from bits and pieces. I'm not sure how an object came to find itself resting there. <laughs> but I've been trying to obtain one for my research. If you still have it or not, find another one. I would be most appreci appreciative if you were to bring it to me here in Markov. I will pay handsomely. Sincerely, Calcelmo. Or Calcimo. <laughs> this is one of those moments where, from a game design standpoint, you pick up an item, you buy an item, and it activates a quest. Unfortunately, that item that activated the quest was a dwarven arrow, which is like one of the most common things you can um, <laughs> one of the com most common things you can get. But all right, <laughs> that's really doesn't like law breaking. But all right, fair enough. So if we um are ever head and he he heading to um. Uh, to mark off, we need to bring one of my 30 Dwarven Arrows to Calcelmo. Um, all the way down here in Markarth. But uh, we are currently over there in a solitude. And Markarth is all the way down there. So I have no plans of going to Markarth right now or at any point in the future. So um, that, that we're just going to have to leave uh, on our to-do list for now. Like way, way, way down on our to-do list. But <laughs> That's so stupid. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. I am not going to do that. If you're playing like a, a sneaky 
uh, thief character. And I know really I um, have said I'm playing a thief, but Gaston doesn't steal much these days. He's, t he's turned a new... He's turned over a new leaf. He's turned over a new coin. But uh, he like he wants you to like rob a ship and stuff like that. And I'm just I'm not I'm just not into that. That's not what Gaston wants to do. Ooh, what is that? It's like a symbol of some kind. If you're heading to the Blue Palace, you might want to rethink that outfit. I wonder if she still says that if I'm wearing the outfit she gave me. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. 